Well, that's a challenge facing police departments all over the country, and now Roseburg Police Department may have come up with a way to recruit and retain officers. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. Instead of working 40 hours a week, patrol officers are now working 32 hours. And KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez shows us how the move will help with officers' mental health. According to Roseburg Police, finding qualified officers is becoming more of a difficult task. It's why they've had to try new innovative ways to get more officers in town. Recruiting is, uh, is it's really expensive. So to do a background is costing us, on the last five backgrounds we did for a police officer, it cost us $40, $430 uh, on average the, for each one. In a department with six vacant positions, the cost of screening new applicants is only going to get higher. But reducing costs is not the only reason Roseburg's patrol units are now working 32 hours per week. The chief knows better than most what his officers go through during their long weeks. Uh, we're an extremely busy department. So right out of the gate, as soon as you, as soon as you sign, uh, sign on to your computer, you're getting calls and, and you're running call to call to call. No department wants to have mentally and physically tired police officers. So the chief says by having a better work-life balance, it means officers will get to spend more time with their families. With 40-hour weeks, the chief says his officers made many sacrifices in their personal lives. Working graveyard, trying to then, you know, come back and be with your family who's living a, a, a day shift life, right? And so that's difficult. So any, uh, any increase in your ability to, to allow them more time with the family is helpful. There is a hope the department will be able to get back to full strength. Coming up in the 6 o'clock newscast, hear what the chief has to say on what the future of the department looks like. Reporting in Roseburg, Julio Mar Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.